Greetings, it's Ian from RDO here. Welcome to the start of a very busy week on the channel. Lots going on. Um, for a start, we've got we'll be announcing the winner of Battle Royale on Thursday. So you've only got till Wednesday at midnight to vote. Um, the link is in the bottom of this video. Uh, the link is also in what's on next week and in the community tab. So go and find it if you haven't yet voted. Uh, we've got birthdays as well this week. A lot of birthdays. So um, we're going to kick off though with um, a short album ranking of one of the members of Pink Floyd. And this time we're going to have a look at Richard Bright. Great keyboard player from Pink Floyd. Uh, wrote some wonderful pieces of music. Of course, Great Gig in the Sky being one of his best. Now, he was born on the 28th of July 1943 and sadly passed away on the 15th of September 2008. And he is one of the co founders of Pink Floyd. He actually appeared on almost every Pink Floyd album and performed on all their tours. And he, of course, got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 96. He grew up in Hatch End, uh, where he met Roger and Nick, and the rest is history. As a solo artist, he made two solo albums on one as a, as a project. So, it's a very short one, but he, he did make some good music. So, coming in at number three is an album called Identity and it's the only album by Z which was a short-lived side project of Pink Floyd, Rick Wright and a guy called Dave Harris who was in a new romantic outfit called Fashion and they released one album called Identity. Uh, so it's Richard Wright doing the keyboards and Dave Harris doing guitars and keyboards. First track is called Confusion. It's pretty abstract, <laughs> really. It's one of these tracks that's got little bits of brilliance and little bits of a meh. There's only one way to describe that track. <laughs> Uh, up next is Voices, probably one of the better tracks. I don't like it in that sometimes. It's got that horrible 80s production, which we were talking about on Room 101 last night, and I'm glad it got booted in. It's just horrible cheesy, um, but it's still one of the better tracks on the album, believe it or not. Private Person, shocking track, absolute garbage. What was Richard thinking? Strange rhythm. What can you say about this? Is let's move on to the next track. Uh, Cuts like a diamond. I quite like this. It's one of the best on the album. It's got some nice keyboard bits and a nice guitar solo. So it isn't too bad. By touching more eighties nonsense. How do you do it? It just gets worse. It's worst track on the album. Seems we were dreaming. Yeah, that's all I'll say about it. Okay. When you've got Richard Wright, so this is a, a quote in him. Wright later stated that he felt identity was an experimental mistake and that she'd never been released. Now, if you've got someone that was writing on it and made the album saying that, you know the album's doomed. It is. It's absolute rubbish. Um, I don't own it. I don't want to own it. And I found I, the only place I found it was on YouTube. And I gave it the once, and that was enough for me. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a big fat zero because I wouldn't even bother with it. It's got one half decent track on that and the rest are just garbage. Okay, coming in at number two. Now this is uh, was released in 1996 and it's his final solo album. It's called Broken China. 
So joining Richard on here, we have Anthony Moore doing programming and arrangements. Sinead O'Connor does two vocals on this. Tim Renwick, great guitarist on here. Dominic Miller's on here. Steve Bolton on guitars. Pino Paldino, who's bass with quite a lot of people. Um, Manu Cache on drums. Sean Bell on cello. Kate St. John on the oboe. And Maz Paldino on backing vocals. So the first track on this one is called Breaking Water. The start of this reminds me of so much of dogs, Pink Floyd. It's got the same bark and it seems like the dog, dogs from animals escaped. Some nice little tones on it. It's not a bad track. I do like that. Um, Night of the Thousand Furry Toys. Good, another good track. Now, I Richard sings on this album and I always thought Richard had a great voice. You know, he did a lot of the backing vocals on um, Pink Floyd and Dave Gilmore's solo albums. So it's not a bad track. I do like that. Hidden Fear, another good track. Uh, the keyboard on here is lovely. And then you get the oboe coming in as well. And it really adds to this track. It's really well thought out track. I do like that. Then we get Runaway. Pleasant enough track with some nice, really nice keyboard again. Once from Richard. You don't... He always does a lovely keyboard bits. Then we have Unfair Ground, a very short piece, but it's got the atmosphere that you expect from anything that Richard Wright sort of is involved with. Uh, Satellite, a little bit poppy. There's always going to be one song on there they think that may be a single. That's usually the record company, isn't it? It's a bit poppy. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's my favourite track on the album. Then we have Woman of Custom. Uh, some lovely acoustic guitar on this. I do like that. But my favourite track on this one is a little track called Interlude. It's a very short piano piece. It's 1 minute 50, 15. But it is my favourite bit of music on here. It's wonderful. It's just what Richard was all about. Um, but that carries on nicely into Black Cow Cloud. The interlude is the bit that sort of draws you into Black Cow Cloud. And these two should be too. They should go together perfectly. It's another fantastic track. Some lovely tones on the keyboards from Richard on that. Far From the Harbour Wall. It's a really strange track. It goes into a bit of a frenzy in the middle. Uh, and then it comes back down again. It's okay. Then we have another short piece called Drowning. Very dramatic uh, keyboards on that. Very good. Which goes nicely into Reaching for the Rail. It's very sort of a... What was... Um, he was doing with Dave Gilmore at the time. And it's got a great vocal from Sinead on it. Which really does help. It's a super track. Although that into I might I'm gonna put this in the playlist because it's a lovely track and Shanae just adds to it. Um, Blue in Venice, probably one of Richard's best vocals. Really nice. Uh, Sweet Chew July sort of carries on from the uh, Blue Room in Venice. Uh, nice guitars on this excellent track. Along the Shoreline comes next. That's okay. And then Breakthrough, which is another fine performance from Sinead on this. It reminds me of the track off Dave Gilmore's album, On an Island. The title track, On an Island. It's wonderful. I think this is a pretty good track album. The first part is the weak a bit, but as it gets in, some fine performances by Sinead O'Connor. Uh, some great stuff on this. I do like this album, and I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. But number one for me, and I've always liked this album. It was his first solo album that he released in 1978, and it's called The Wet Dream. So Richard does the piano and vocals. It features 
the one and only Mel Collins on saxophones. Gets everywhere, does, does Mel. Um, on guitars, Mr. Snowy White, ex Thin Lizzy and just fine guitarist. Larry Steele is on the bass, and Reg Idazor is on drums. So it opens up with a um, a lovely um, instrumental called Mediterranean Sea, as in the letter C. I love this. It's a wonderful instrumental. The keyboard work from Bridget. Richard is brilliant on the air. And then you add on uh, a saxophone solo for Mel Collins, and you've got an absolutely killer track. Against the odds... Snowy White reigns supreme on here. Um, his guitar work is delicate, it's intricate, and you get a wonderful vocal from Richard on here. I love this song, always have. Um, then we have another instrumental called Cat Cruise. Brilliant track. Mel Collins' sax work on this is just absolutely brilliant. It's very Pink Floyd. You can see how much influence um, Richard did have in creating some of that sound on the Pink Floyd albums. Some huge, you, usually, sorry, struggled with that one. One of my favourite songs on here was a great guitar solo from Snowy. Uh, a bit like his Birds of Paradise, but absolutely wonderful. Up next is another instrumental called waves now there's a nice combo here between saxophone and guitar and then richard just sits there beneath it adding these lovely little long runs on the synth can't remember uh, give a mention to reg he's drumming through the whole album is good keeps a solid beat up next is holiday my favorite track on here uh this is this is quite funny. This is very Pink Floyd when Roger had left. Long before Roger left, it was sort of thing that you... He got glimpses of stuff that was going to be on a momentary lapse for a reason. And it's really good. And it has got another killer um, saxophone solo for Mel. Um, then we have this little short um, instrumental called Mad Yannis Dance. Some really quirky keyboard from... Richard on that, another good track. We have another instrumental called Dropping From The Top. Now, this is dominated by Larry Steele, who does a fine performance on the album, but this is really his time to shine. You've got Snowy coming in with some little bits of um, guitar. Red Strums is good on this. Then we have a track called Pink Song. Some flute on here, and it's a great vocal from Richard. Um, then we have Funky De. It's an instrumental, and I think this is Mel Collins's best performance on this album. Uh, very jazzy. It's an extra, excellent track to end the album. I love this album. I think it's one of the most underrated albums from any member of Pink Floyd on a solo project. It's got some great musicians on here. You know, Snowy Walt, Mel Collins. Absolutely brilliant performers you've also got some Greg Reg Indusol uh, Indusol's drumming is great on this Larry Steele's a great bass player session musician, it's a terrific album so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.5 I expect this to come upon shorts very very soon <laughs> because it's a wonderful album Okay, that's all for this member of uh, Pink Floyd. Look out in a couple of months. We might do one of the others. Um, but, uh, yeah, Richard Wright, fantastic keyboard player. Sadly missed, and I'm just so glad they all got back together at Pink Floyd before he died. A year, About a year before he died. Okay, coming up next is a perfect side, and this week it's me putting one in the mix. One of my choices, and I'm going to go for Back in Black by ACDC, who are currently on their tour and getting some excellent reviews. So we're going to look at the album Back in Black by for now. 